was did you feel the you know the moment or what happened um honestly the ball was a little wet uh, it was raining at the time and it just got away from me but yeah it wasn't anything in terms of like you know the game or it was just the ball was wet slipped i was trying to rip it to debo and i was uh i was just mad that i couldn't get it to him so is that second pass where you had ran it to kind of get into the rhythm then? Yeah, I mean, it's very important. Um, obviously, had missed one right before that. So to get the ball to B.A., have him make a play and, and just create some momentum was huge for us, huge for myself. You know, as a quarterback, you want to you know, start the game off with some co completions and just get into a rhythm. And so it was huge for myself. It was huge for the team. Did it, did it feel different? different for you. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, did it feel different because it was a playoff game? Um, I mean, you know, there was some some emotion going into the game. Like, you know, you can just feel it, you know, in the environment with the fans and um, our teammates. Like, man, this is win or, or go home. And so, um, you know, you did feel that. I feel like pregame and whatnot. But once the game started, it was all, hey, it's 11 on 11. I got to do my job. I got to get it to the guys um, when they're in space and, and uh, go from there. But, you know, it, we didn't make it more than what it was. Um, I mean, you could feel it in the first half in terms of, you know, Seattle's playing really good football. Um, you know, it's playoff football. Everyone plays their best football. So um, I feel like that was just something that we had in the back of our minds too. But um, overall, it wasn't, you know, oh my gosh, we're in the playoffs. You know, we got to get all tense or anything like that. So we just got to play our game and let everything else fall into place. You haven't had, you haven't had very many opportunities to have Debo and Christian in the back row behind you. When, when they did that today, they were on that field at the same time today. Can you kind of see the, the defense Having a dilemma, uh, you know, you know, sort of a pick your poison type of issue for them. Um, I mean, yeah, I think obviously it's it's hard for a defense to stop that when you got both guys coming out of the backfield any which way or doing all this all these exotic things that we do. But um, I thought that, honestly, credit to Seattle, they did a, they did a good job. I think on you know third downs and everything like that. Um, in terms of playing man, you know, they had great coverage. Um, I feel like they had a good plan and in terms of how to stop in our guys out of the backfield with Christian and Debo. Um, but at the same time, like once we did get the ball and, and they made plays, then you know, the, um, we just we did exactly that. And, you know, our guys made plays in space. And so um, you know, it's going to be a challenge moving forward. Um, as usual, everyone's going to be playing their best football and scheming up stuff like that for Christian and Debo. But um, I know once they win those one-on-one -on -one matchups and get the ball to them, it's, it's tough for defenses. So, um, so yeah. In the first half, you were, you were able to move the ball well, but couldn't get into the end zone or have trouble finishing drives. Why were you able to turn that around in the second half? Well, I just, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's just there's a couple plays, man, where it's like you got to be on point. Um, once you get those those matchups and opportunities to, to capitalize on, you got to do it, especially in the NFL, playoff football. Um, and so that's, you know, I, I put that on myself. There's some plays where I should have put the ball up, you know, give Georgia a one on one shot. Um, and instead of taking a sack, um, some plays like that where I got to be better. And so, coming into the, in the, in the halftime, you know, Kyle just was straight up and was like, "Hey, man, like, you got plays are there, the opportunities are there. We just got to keep it simple and, and get it to the guys." And so, um, we knew what our plan was coming out of halftime into the second half, and I thought we just executed everything and we finished drives where we didn't do the stalling, we didn't overthink things in the second half. You so. a lot today, but after the. When you roll left, roll right, you get it to Elijah in the open flat there. You really looked as excited as I've seen you. That well, was just because of the play. It was the moment. What, what were you feeling there? And could you talk us through that play? Yeah. Um, I mean, it was just a broken play. You know, I was trying to go left to BA and, and then go through my progression from there. It just broke down. And so, um, you know, once Elijah did his job in terms of, you know, staying in protection, and then if he had time, he could get out. And he was my last read. Um, so the front side just broke down, and when I scrambled, Elijah was where he needed to be, and that's why I was excited. I was like, man, that, that was sweet that you know I had that trust in you to be there, and, and the same for him for myself. And so um, you know, once we completed that and scored, it's just a huge part in the game, you know, to create momentum. And it was a big, just a big play for everyone, and a big moment for everyone. So um, I was just excited about it, and just wanted to create some juice for our team, and and uh, just celebrate a touchdown with with my guy Elijah. People called you slithery or slithery moves really? out there. Uh, was, is this something you knew you had, or is this is it just instinct to be able to be able to move right when the defensive lineman's coming one way? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not something that I go into a play where oh, if it's not here, I'm going to scramble and do this and that. You know, I want to go through my progressions and stuff, but I feel like it's just the instinct that I have of playing football throughout the years of 
you know, if something's not there, the play can still be alive. You know, that's sort of the, in the back of my in the back of my mind. And um, so, growing up, I've been able to scramble and make plays off schedule. So, um, in those moments, in the, a couple of those touchdowns, you know, I think it was just something that I've always done my whole life in terms of you know finding a finding a way when when it's not there. So, that's all it was. You almost, you almost got a, a fourth touchdown pass to VA in the corner on that roll. You took a big shot at the end. So, when you look back on that play, was it worth it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was on my left side. Um, you know, nothing from that hit. It was, it was a good, clean hit from the defensive lineman. Um, obviously, in that kind of situation, I got to be smarter with you know getting the ball out if, it's, if the first read's not there, um, instead of doing all that extra stuff. But um, yeah, it was just I felt like it was one of those situations where man, if we can just put one more touchdown in, put the nail in the coffin. Um, but at the same time, a field goal is just just as good. So somewhere I got to be smart with and. You know, just throw it away if it's not there. What's that? What did Brandon say to you after that play? Uh, I mean, he was, you know, I was excited that, all right, we have a scram scramble drill on, and he kept it alive. You know, he saw me scramble. I went left, came back right, and then, you know, he ran left and then went all the way right. And so um, I was excited that he kept it alive, and I was happy. I was like, dude, that was good. And then he was obviously just, he's hard on himself. You know, he's like, man, I should have caught it or hit my hands or whatever. But, you know, that's. You know, it's it's all good, man. I love the dude. He works hard. He blocked for Debo on that long touchdown. Like you just see, BA gives everything for this team, and so if something like that happens, it's all good. Like we're gonna learn from it and be better. Two uh, more uh, swagger-related questions. Can you uh, do you feel the high step coming, or is that just natural? <laughs> and then, what are you? What do you imagine you're injecting into your bags? So yeah, the the high step. I mean, sort of just comes, you know, in the moment. I don't really. Dude, I'm gonna high step this linebacker or anything like that. It's just I try to just get him to stop a little bit so I could possibly get a couple more yards. That's all that is. And then um, I mean the whole vein deal. I think it's just more for the team. Like they love you know uh, just bringing some emotion and juice to the team. And so you know I don't go into the game telling man I'm gonna inject my veins with this or that. It's it was just some celebration to get the guys going. So yeah, LeBron, yeah. I did not. I did not. Good game. LeBron said that. Uh -huh. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's awesome. That's so cool. How did you notice the intensity in the huddle change maybe after Debo got his, got his late game play? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's our guy, Debo. Like he brings so much to the team, the juice, the swagger, all that kind of stuff. And um, you know, he was down obviously, and, and the guy just kept going. And it's like, come on, like let's play clean here, um, just keep the game going and. You know, we get it. It's a physical game and everything, but to do that, it's unnecessary. And so, for our team to just you know show some emotion to show Debo that we got we got his back, man. And uh, yeah, I think we all had the right to to have his have his back and, and be fired up about that. But definitely created some juice for us and some some momentum. And I feel like we capitalized off it. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Right here. What yanked on? What were your emotions? <laughs> uh. I stayed down a little because um, I almost lost my temper. Um, and you can see um, the definition of our team of IGYB, I got your back. And then um, second half, they scored at the end of the fourth quarter. Like, you know, you can have it. But um, at the end of the day, I felt like that turned our team up a notch. And as you can see, we just went out there and made plays. Are you saying that you pretty much needed that time to get yourself under? Yeah, 100%. It, it hurt for sure. But uh, in my mind, I was I was about to lose it. But um, I just kept coming, you know. Uh, just seeing um, how Cal came off the sideline is true definition of our team. Can you walk us through your touchdown? And did you get a good look at what, what Brandon was doing to the field? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I seen Brandon once I came around, and I seen the safety up top. And uh, I wanted him to think I was going to go that way when I know Brandon's going to seal the sideline for me. And he did a great job, and I just ran off his block. Do you sense any nerves from Brock in his first playoff start? And how do you think he played? Um, I don't think it was no nerves uh, at all. Um, we kind of started off slow. We missed a couple here and there. But um, as the game slowed down and settled down for him, and he knows the guys that he, we have around him to build him up, um, it started to slow down for him, too, in the second half. And he went out there and played good ball. How valuable is his ability to extend plays and run around? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's it's great to see, you know what I'm saying, the things he do back there when you think he's sack and his little slitheriness of getting out of stuff. <laughs> it kind of it kind of makes us a little tired because we got to run around too to try to get open, but uh, it works. So, I mean, as long as Brock doing his thing, you know, we're going to ride with him. What do you 
surprised at all by the level of confidence and trust that Kyle has in Brock at this point? Um, not at all. Um, for me, uh, he kind of showed it during the preseason a little bit. And um, the first game he ever started, you know, uh, he called a timeout. Um, and that kind of shocked me and Cal. Like, Cal don't play that. And it kind of showed me the, the type of guy he is and how, you know what I'm saying, how gutsy he is with making a timeout when Cal don't got to do that. How have you noticed Kyle change as a play caller with the addition of Christian and all the versatility you guys seem to have given different places you can line up? I don't out. think it's a change. Um, I just think, you know what I'm saying, he, he knows the guys that he got out there, uh, all five guys out wide, and including Christian, um, very dangerous with uh, the ball in his hands. He do a good job of getting it to him. Did you think you had enough room on that sideline to make it through? <laughs> um, I necessarily don't be thinking of things like that. I just, whenever I get the ball, I try to score, and when I see a lane, I'm going to hit it. Oh, he just walled off. As you can see, Brandon, very physical, strong guy, and he just walled him off, and I ran right off, right off his block. It looked like Brandon was ready to take on the, the whole Seahawks team after you got your leg like, yanked. Did you see that from your, your vantage point? And oh, I seen all, when I got up, I was – it was 23 that twisted my ankle, and I went right at 30. I didn't even know – I just, like, blacked out for a second. I just see all red jerseys on the field. I'm like, all right, all right, this is what we on. All right, let's, let's turn it up a notch. Did you sense – you said – they got everyone kind of turned up a notch. I mean, were just guys talking about it, like, or or, or is it just a, an emotion you felt like? Oh, I think it was another level of intensity. Everybody was a little angry because you know I just came back from a knee injury, and um, like I said earlier, true definition of IGYB. Did you guys feel any pressure coming into this game, knowing that everybody expected you to win? Uh, not at all. Um, we take, we take, you know what I'm saying, day by day. We don't get into all the outside noise. We just focus on what we have here, and we just go out there and do our job. You had that brace on for a little bit. Whose decision was that to put the brace on? How did you know it was time to take it off? What brace? The brace on after that little twist. Button. Never had a brace on. <laughs> nah, it wasn't no brace on. <laughs> 